Hi guys, Di here. Sorry I've been away a little bit. We're actually packing to move. So this is the video before we actually hightail it out of here. And I have to pack all of this stuff up. Um, so I, this is the um, my contribution to the Makers Creative Collaboration hosted by the fabulous Patricia and Mariah from PM Artist Studio. This collaboration is called Accordion to Me and we have been asked to make an accordion journal. So this is what I have come up with. Um, we have a list of um, stuff that we can use or must use or should use um, and there is seven categories and from the first category I have used artisan paper from the second category I have used scraps and fibers third I have used metal glitter patina and foil um, fourth I've used ink and paint fifth I've used sticky mossy stuff a stick mossy stuff leaves etc um, six I've used the stencil and from the list seven I've used beads embossing and crackle so this is a I'll just give you some measurements it is roughly five by mm, six five by six um so let's just get into it i've used sorry silk closure and that's just wrapped around wrapped around um so this is a butterfly that i bought at a um not a market but a craft show fabric and craft show and it's a uh, mulberry paper made out of mulberry, mulberry paper and stockings and tulle and sparkling glitters and i got six in a pack or something and they all this is the smallest one and they all get bigger so they're just awesome i'm gonna actually use one to wrap around so this is some handmade paper that i made years ago and it is um mulberry paper on the bottom and then i have layered it with um what i do is i make a glue bath and i add ink to it and each time i put a piece of tissue paper through it i add more ink or less ink or whatever um, i just keep adding and there's about six or seven layers but i let each layer dry completely before i add the next next layer gives you this beautiful heavy textured layered paper um we have got some copper paint um some micro beads some fibers and i got this really cool necklace which had wooden beads and where's the rest of it Uh, from the knop shop from the thrift shop and I just pulled it apart and I just loved it this is gonna be so I only use parts of it so we've got some little bits of it here and there as you'll see through the through it as we open it up okay so that's the first page the cover I open it up and I've got a stenciled this is some hand spun wool that I spun many years ago many 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 years ago um, and this was um, some curls cut off straight off the sheep um, there's some lace there's some feathers um, this little tag there's some handmade mulberry paper the hinges are made of canvas and they're all stamped here's some of this necklace here um, some micro beads, um, some eyelash trim. Um, I've used a sheet of cork 
um, through this journal as well. So there's um, there's not a lot of journaling space in this one, but there's enough enough to to write on. It's just a little tag. Um, so this is a paper bag, a little paper bag with a tag in it, just to write on. Um, this eco dye paper in the back, this a little quail feather, quail? I mm, can't remember now, feather. Some sari silk and some cork, this is part of the necklace. Um, foil um, out of a chocolate box and a metal butterfly and over here we have another pocket with a skeleton leaf some mulberry paper burlap just another little tag some of that wool fiber copper paint this is another feather another part of that necklace and this is just um, some journaling pages. They've been tea stained. Um, some handmade paper with grasses in it, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's all stapled together with these pretty copper staples. I've just got a binder clip down here with some of the links off that necklace. And the back page, I've got a ribbon closure with a bead with a little crystal inside. Um, this is some spooky fibres from the Halloween thingy, whatever you call it, um, decorations. Um, a brass butterfly, some collage paper. This is a... Um, a stamp from um, a stencil from PM Artist Studio on cork um, with some texture textured paint and so then we go back the other way we have got some rice paper with some stamping on it some more of that chocolate box gold lots of fibers little mushroom and a cute little ladybug um, this is a little booklet made out of that paper just all for writing on there's a little pocket with some handmade paper in it and just a couple of tags in these What have I done? I forgot to sew it together again. That's what I've done. Must do that. Put the holes in. Sewed it wrong. Took it apart. Okay, this is part of the necklace again. Some more cork. Um, some more of that mulberry paper with some gold paint. Um, a silk leaf. And that all just sits in there. Some more of those necklace bits. Over here, this is just a writing space with a bit of a collage. Another silk leaf. Some um, wool. Um, so this is a little double pocket with a feather here. Get in there. Um, this is some handmade paper I got gifted to me a very long time ago and it came in a big roll it was like a meter long by um, I don't know 14 inches wide and I just tear pieces off it's like a mulberry paper but it's more fibrous so it has lots and lots of fibers in it which is really cool and a little tag that was part of a um, masterboard that I made a while back so had stenciling and inking and all that sort of stuff on it um, and that's it back to the start so 
there is our accordion according to me hope you enjoyed it had fun making it we have been teasing each other over on the makers uh, Facebook page so we have team YouTube yay team YouTube and we have team non youtubers which you will have to go to the page to check it out so that's my contribution thanks for watching catch you soon bye